This is Miss Sue from the Upper Marion Township Library. I really miss coming out and reading to all of you in your classrooms, but I'm so happy to be here today to read to you virtually from some library books that I have and to celebrate a big holiday that's coming up. Do you know what holiday is coming up? Thanksgiving! Yay! Yep, Thanksgiving is up coming up soon. And with Thanksgiving, I think of good food, I think of football, I think of family, but most of all, I think of giving thanks, just like my bird has here. Giving thanks for the wonderful people and the wonderful things that we have in our lives. So I have some great stories for you today that I wanted to share with you all about Thanksgiving, and I hope that you enjoy it. So let's get started. The first thing I like to start with is a warm up to get my fingers warmed up to turn all those pages. So we're going to do a hello song today. So see if you can follow along with me. I want you to put up your hands like this and we're going to pat them down on our laps or our tables, wherever we are. So we're going to pat them down and then clap, pat them down and clap. So it goes like this, bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as soft as we can. Can you say hello? Good job. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Are you ready? Hello, hello, hi. Good job. Okay, let's do it again, ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Ready? Hello. That was pretty slow. Let's try fast. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Can you say that really fast? Hello. You got it. And for the last one, let's say it as friendliest as we can. Okay, ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as friendly as we can. Hello. Hi. Good. Okay, I think I'm ready to start reading. So I picked out three different books for you today, and I hope that you like them. This is a funny one. Are you guys getting ready to laugh? This is a definitely a funny one. It's a little long, but it's really good, and I think you're going to like it. It's called Thanksgiving at the Tappletons. And it's by Eileen Spinelli. She's the author. And Eileen actually is somebody who lives around us. She lives here in Pennsylvania. So this is a fun book to read every Thanksgiving. So let's get started. Thanksgiving at the Tappletons was always a big day. Thanksgiving at the Tappletons meant, of course, the Tappleton family. Mr. Tappleton, Mrs. Tappleton, Jenny Tappleton, Kenny Tappleton, and Grandmother and Grandfather Tappleton and Aunt Hedda, and Uncle Fritz, and most certainly, of course, the turkey and the trimmings. So look at the whole family that's there, and there's the big turkey. There's the whole family. They're gonna be celebrating together. You see all of them? As I said, Thanksgiving's about family, right? It was still dark when Mrs. Tappleton lit the oven and took the big turkey out of the refrigerator. Just then, someone knocked at the door. <gasps> it was Mike the Milkman, Good morning, Mrs. Tappleton. I thought you might like some eggnog for the holiday. As Mrs. Tappleton reached for the eggnog, the turkey slipped from under her arm. <gasps> and now on a warmer day, this might not have been a problem, but this Thanksgiving day was quite cold. <laughs> and the step was covered with ice. Uh-oh, can you guess what's gonna happen to that turkey? Let's see if we can figure it out. Before she or Mike could even think, the turkey had slithered into the yard. Get it, shouted Mrs. Tappleton. Mike reached out, but the turkey skidded past him, through the gate and into the street. Hurry, screamed Mrs. Tappleton. Stop that turkey. Okay. Wow, the milkman chased the turkey. Mrs. Tappleton chased the milkman, and the turkey slid down the hill into the pond. Plop, splash. It bubbled out of sight. Do you see that turkey? It ended up in the pond. Can we eat a turkey that's been in the pond? Mm -mm. When Mrs. Tappleton came down to breakfast, excuse me, when Mr. Tappleton came down to, for breakfast, he took a long sniff. I don't smell turkey, he said to his wife. Of course you don't smell turkey, she replied. You have a cold. I don't have a cold, he said. Mrs. Tappleton shook some pepper in the air. Her husband sneezed, ah, 
Chew. <gasps> See, she said, you do have a cold. So I think he sneezed because of the pepper, but she says he has a cold. After breakfast, Mr. Tappleton put on his coat and his scarf and his hat and his gloves. I'm going to the bakery to buy our pies. Mrs. Tappleton handed him boots. Wear these, she said. I know for a fact it's quite slippery out today. Sims Bakery was so crowded the line reached out into the sidewalk. Mr. Tappleton hated to wait in long lines, so he went to the diner for a cup of coffee. So see him? He's sitting drinking his coffee, watching all the people wait for the pies. But by the time he got back, the long line was gone, and so were the pies. Oh, no. No pumpkin, no mince, no rhubarb, nothing. Mr. Tappleton was afraid to go home with nothing. Two boxes tied up with string, please, he said. Mrs. Sims stared at him. You mean two empty boxes? That's right, said Mr. Tappleton. My, they feel light, remarked Mrs. Tappleton at home. Certainly they are light, reported Mr. Tappleton. Mrs. Sims prides herself on how light her pies are. We know the truth. There's no pies in there. Uh-oh. Wonder if they'll find out. Mrs. Tappleton set the table. She called to her son. Kenny, you may make the salad. There's lettuce in the crisper, carrots and radishes too. Kenny's face, though, grew pale. Just yesterday, he had emptied the crisper and fed all the vegetables to the rabbits in Mrs. Butterworth's class. See, he fed all the vegetables to the rabbits. Uh-oh, there's none left. How could he tell his mother? He couldn't. So he covered the empty salad bowl with aluminum foil and stuck it in the back of the refrigerator. So did he make a salad? No, there wasn't anything to be made, but he left one with some tin foil, just in case anybody was looking for it. When the others went to pick up their relatives at the train station, Jenny stayed behind to mash the potatoes. Every year, this was her job. She loved it. This year, she thought, I'll make them even better. I'll use the blender. Just as Jenny flicked on the switch, the phone rang. Ding, ling, ling. It was her best friend, Nora. If there was one thing Jenny loved to do better than mashed potatoes, it was talk. Jenny talked and talked and talked to Nora. And she might still be talking today had it not been a very wet glump of something hit her on the back of the head. She turned to see what it was. Splat! Another glump hit her in the face. The blender was going wild and the mashed potatoes were flying everywhere. Look at that. Oh no, she wasn't paying attention and it went crazy. <gasps> mashed potatoes everywhere. Without even saying goodbye to Nora, Jenny hung up the phone, scrubbed her face, and wiped mashed potatoes from nearly everything in the kitchen. She finished just as the others came back. Phew! Uncle Fretz patted his stomach. I'm hungry, he said. Grandfather Tappleton laughed. I'm as hungry as an elephant, he said. Everyone sat down at the table. It was a Tappleton tradition for Grandmother to say the Thanksgiving prayer. As soon as the turkey is ready, she smiled. I'm as hungry as two elephants, said Grandfather. Mr. Tappleton went to the oven. I'll carve the turkey now. And he opened the oven door. <gasps> what do you think he found? Did he find a turkey? We know better. <gasps> the turkey is gone. Mr. Tappleton searched on the table and under the table and in every kitchen cabinet. He looked into the sink in the bottom of the closet. I can't find the turkey anywhere. Mrs. Tappleton took a deep breath. <sighs> she told them how their fine turkey had slipped out the door and down the steps and across the yard and through the gate and down the street and flop, splash, oh, into the pond. So much for the turkey, said Uncle Fritz, and his stomach rumbled rrr, a little louder. Never mind, said Aunt Hedda good-naturedly. We'll fill up on the trimmings. So is Thanksgiving going to stop just because there isn't a turkey? No, they're still going to celebrate. I'll get the salad, Jenny announced. Then grandmother can say the prayer. Jenny set the bowl on the table and peeled off the aluminum foil. Everyone stared at the salad that was not there. <gasps> no salad? I fed the rabbits at school, confessed Fe Kenny. Uncle Fritz looked down light, right gloomy. So much for the salad, his stomach rumbled again. I'm as hungry 
as three elephants now, sighed Grandfather. Kenny jumped up. We'll have Jenny's mashed potatoes. He brought the pot out from the kitchen and lifted the lid. Um, I was on the phone, said Jenny meekly, and the blender went wild. Oh, so much for the potatoes, Uncle Francis. Stomach rumbled even more. Arr! I'm as hungry as four elephants, said Grandfather. Uh-oh, this dinner is just not working out. I wonder what they're going to do. The pies, cried Mrs. Tappleton. I'll get the pies. I'll say Grace as soon as the pies are cut, Grandmother smiled. Mrs. Tappleton brought in the boxes, set them down, and untied the string. You brought home two empty boxes? She glared at Mr. Tappleton, who covered his ears. Five elephants, groaned Grandfather. I'm as hungry as five elephants. The dining room was quiet now. Everyone looked down at the empty table. Uncle Fritz muttered something, but it could not be heard above the rumble of his stomach. A tear rolled down Jenny's cheek. No Thanksgiving dinner, she sniffled. Nothing to say a prayer for, sighed Kenny. They look so sad, don't they? Grandmother smiled. Okay, there is something. There is more to Thanksgiving than a turkey and trimmings. And then Grandmother Tappleton asked everyone to bow their heads and to hold hands around the dining room table. And this is the Thanksgiving prayer she said. Turkeys come and turkeys go and trimmings can be lost, we know. But we're together, that's what matters. Now what's served upon the platters? Not what's served upon the platters. Oh, that was a wonderful prayer, said Aunt Hedda. Mrs. Tappleton jumped up. We have liverwurst and cheese in the refrigerator, and I'll help fix sandwiches, offered Mr. Tappleton. Jenny wiped her tear away. I'll get the pickles. Kenny laughed. I'll open a jar of applesauce for dessert. And so the Tappletons had their Thanksgiving dinner after all. Uncle Fritz's stomach stopped rumbling, and Grandfather Tappleton had enough liverwurst to feed six elephants. In fact, everyone had plenty to eat, but most of all, they had each other. And that's what matters. The end. Yay! Wasn't that a silly book? Could you believe all the problems they had with their Thanksgiving dinner? Boy, but you know what? They made the most of it, didn't they? And they got together with their family, and that's what matters. So do you guys see this guy? He's a turkey. He's a silly turkey. And today we're going to do a song called Hello Turkey. So I was hoping that you could join with me. And it goes to the tune of, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. So it goes, hello, Mr. Turkey, how are you? Clap, clap. Hello, Mr. Turkey, how are you? Clap, clap. With a gobble, 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 and a wobble, wobble, wobble. Hello, Mr. Turkey, how are you? Want to try it again? Okay, let's do it together. Hello, Mr. Turkey, how are you? Clap, clap. Hello, Mr. Turkey, how are you? Clap, clap. With a gobble, 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 and a wobble, wobble, wobble. Hello, Mr. Turkey, how are you? <gasps> and speaking of turkeys, you should see my next book. It's called Run, Turkey, Run. Run away, turkey. And this one is written by Diane Mayer. And this is a silly one, too. So let's hear how Mr. Turkey's Thanksgiving was going. Turkey is having a terrible day. He looks kind of sad, doesn't he? It's the day before Thanksgiving, but Turkey won't be giving thanks, not unless he manages to escape. So do you see Turkey? He's hiding from the farmer. He doesn't want to be dinner. <gasps> run, Turkey, run! Clompity clomp, here comes the farmer. So there's the farmer and he's heading out. So Turkey's gonna run. Can you run with me? Run, 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 run. Good job. Oh, see the pig pen? If Turkey rolls in the mud, will the farmer think he's a pig? Do you see him? Do you see him in there? Oh, I see him. Do you think he looks like the pigs? I don't know. We'll see what the farmer says. No, run, Turkey, run. Muckety muck, here comes the farmer. So they're yelling for him to run, and there he goes. Run, 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 run. Look, the duck pond. If Turkey swims in the water, will the farmer think he's a duck? Do you guys see Turkey? Oh, I see him. He's right there. 
He has his little mask on. He's trying to look like a duck. Do you think he looks like the other ducks? No, he doesn't. Here comes the farmer. Run, turkey, run. Splashy, splash. Here comes the farmer. Wow, you better run, turkey. Here's the place, the horse's barn. If Turkey sticks his head in the feed bucket, will the farmer think he's a horse? Does he look like a horse? Like all the other horses eating? What do you think? No. Farmer found him. Run, Turkey, run. Clankety clank. Here comes the farmer. But Turkey's still out ahead. I wonder if he'll make it. Turkey can't fool the farmer. He knows his animals. What's Turkey to do? And the animals tell him, run from the farmyard. Run, Turkey, run. Crunchity crunch, here comes the farmer. You see him? He's coming close. Hmm. Trees. If Turkey covers himself with branches, Will the farmer think he's a tree? The farmer doesn't see him. Can it be? Oh, maybe. Turkey's safe at last. What do you think? Yes. Yeah, the farmer doesn't see him. Thanksgiving Day comes, and the farmer and his family eat peas, mashed potatoes, and grilled cheese sandwiches. No turkey. And you know what? Turkey gives thanks. He's happy. He's doing that happy gobble dance. Thanksgiving Day goes. The farmer and his family are picking out their Christmas tree when all of a sudden, who pops out from the tree? <gasps> turkey! Run, Turkey, run! The end. Wow, good job. That turkey was one fast guy, wasn't he? Well, speaking of turkeys, I thought you might like to do the turkey pokey with me. It's kind of like the hokey pokey, but we're going to do it all with turkey parts. So turkeys have wings. Do you guys see the wings there on him? Turkeys, the, the domestic turkeys really can't fly, but they do have wings. They can flap them, right? So for our first part, we're going to do our wings. So is everybody ready to do the turkey pokey? It goes. You put your wings in, you put your wings out, you put your wings in and you wobble all about. You do the turkey pokey and you wobble all around. That's what it's all about. Good. Our next thing is this. What are they? Turkey toes, right? So what we're gonna do is put our turkey toes in and our turkey toes out, ready? You put your turkey toes in, you put your turkey toes out, you put your turkey toes in and you wiggle all about. You do the turkey pokey and you gobble all around. That's what it's all about. Good. <gasps> now here's a new word for you. See that big red thing all on turkey? It's a lot of skin right here. That's called a waddle. Can you say that? Waddle. So we're gonna put our waddles in, ready? You put your waddle in, you put your waddle out, you put your waddle in and you shake it all about. You do the turkey pokey and you gobble all around. That's what it's all about. Last one. Oh, look at those beautiful feathers. Turkeys have big tail feathers right on the back and they like to put them up like this, right? And they parade around with them. So you put your tail feathers in, you put your tail feathers out, you put your tail feathers in and you shake them all about. You do the turkey pokey and you gobble all around. That's what it's all about. Yay! Good job! Okay, we have one more book and it's called Thank You Thanksgiving and it's by David Milgram. And it's about a little girl who gets sent on an errand. That's a job that her mom asked her to go do, to pick up something. And she starts to think about all the things she's thankful for. Do you remember me talking about my turkey and giving thanks? This is all about being thankful for what you have. So it starts out right here with a little girl and her mom and her dad and her baby brother. And she says, thank you for sending me, mom. 
Remember, she has to go to the store on an errand. And the mom trusts her to go down and grab things herself. And as she walks, she starts thinking. Thank you, warm boots. They keep her toes warm in the cold snow. Thank you, music. Look at the birds. They're all singing. And she's, she really likes that. She likes listening to them. And she never thinks about how nice the birds sound. Thank you, pretty clouds. Look at those beautiful clouds in the sky. She's looking at them and imagining different things. Thank you, rabbits. Aren't those little rabbits cute? She probably passes them a lot and doesn't think to stop and thank them for being so cute. Thank you, park. As she cuts through the park, she sees all the cool things there and she enjoys that. Thank you, duck. Look, duck brought her something. She had dropped her scarf and duck found it and brought it to her. Isn't that nice? Thank you, general store. So the nice lady checks her out at the general store and gives her the things that she came for. Thank you, snow people. Isn't that fun? That's something I always like and are thankful for, that we can build things with the snow. They're very cute, that snow family. Thank you, Hill. Look at her sliding down that hill. That looks like a lot of fun. We'll be doing that this winter, right? Thank you, thank you. When she comes in, everyone applauds, says, yay, she's back. And it looks like she's carrying something. Is that milk? I don't know what it is. Let's look. Thank you, Mixer. Oh, it was milk. And look, she's using it to make something. I wonder what she could be making. Do you have any ideas? Mom looks like she's watching. She's eager to see what she's making too. <gasps> yep, thank you, pie with whipped cream. Oh, that's what she was making. The whipped cream makes the pie even tastier, doesn't it? Thank you, Thanksgiving. And look at her with all of her family there. And that's what she's most thankful for. The end. Great job. Well, I hope you enjoyed all the books today. And I hope that you like the songs. And I want to tell you that that was the last book I have for today. And I hope you enjoyed them. We have tons of Thanksgiving books and holiday books coming up for Hanukkah and Christmas at our library too. So please come in and check it out. We're open to the public Monday through Saturday. We have different hours each uh, day, so check our website for more information. But we are always happy to find you the perfect book. So stop in, get in the spirit of the upcoming holidays with some great reads. And please also remember that we have lots of good virtual programs going on. So just go into our calendar and sign up. We'd love to have you there. It's free, it's fun, it's virtual, so it's safe. And we look forward to seeing you at the library, okay? Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and from everybody at the library, we're thankful for you. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving.